I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up everybody? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another video. The gameplay in the background is Call of Duty Warzone, but we're going to be talking about cheaters and hackers in general, because that is a hot topic nowadays, and I have some thoughts that I'd like to share. But before we get started, I've heard that if you ask people to like and subscribe at the beginning of the video, they're more likely to do it. So go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content. Because if this video gets a million likes, I will get a full-size tattoo of Taylor Swift on my chest. And I will live stream the whole thing. Just kidding, I already have that tattoo. So here we go, guys. <laughs> um, today we're going to be talking about cheating. Kind of a controversial subject. Um, mainly we're going to be discussing cheating and uh, big YouTubers, uh, streamers, and content creators, whether or not they're doing it. And before we get started, I just want to say that um, there's a lot of people out there that make videos about other people cheating when they have no evidence just because they're salty, you know, that they're not as good. This is not one of those videos, you know. There's a lot of players out there that are way better than me. I work a full-time job and do YouTube on the side, so I already know I don't... This guy just blew himself up with a Molotov. <laughs> I already know that I do not have you know the same um, i can't play for 8 10 12 hours a day and uh, get as good as some of these guys out there some of them just have raw natural talent so that's awesome that we have so many good players out there playing the game making good content but there's a dark side to all this ever since i can remember in video games uh there have been cheating uh basic cheating on console when a game gets old like if you try to play any of the old call of duties probably just run into a bunch of hack lobbies where people are getting master prestige instantly i know i went into a lobby one time i had no idea what was happening i got a couple kills and i went up like two or three prestige levels i was like what the hell just happened and this was like 10 years ago um, aimbot is a very common one um, esp being able to see players through walls uh, wall hack being able to shoot players through walls these are just just the hacks that we know about and there's tons more out there a real popular one in PUBG was the radar cheat where you could use like a separate computer you know to see where all the enemies were I, I play the game a lot so I do a lot of research on the cheats I would never use them myself because I get no um, I get no sense of achievement or satisfaction out of winning if it wasn't a legitimate win, you know? So I'm convinced that most of the cheaters out there are doing it just to troll people. But what if there's another side to it, okay? What if some of our favorite streamers and YouTubers are p playing illegitimately? Now, obviously, if you watch somebody stream that's a pro streamer, you're not going to see them use blatant cheats, you know, like aimbot, wall hack, things like that. They're going to be smart enough not to do it. But why would they even attempt to use a cheat or an exploit in the first place? Well, let's go ahead and talk about this and discuss it. Go ahead and leave comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about cheating. If you think there's any major people out there that are cheating, um, don't, 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 just, don't just flame people, you know. You have to have proof to accuse somebody of cheating. So we're not accusing anybody of cheating today. We're just discussing the possibility of it because it's a conversation that I have with my friends a lot. You know, they're like, man, I just saw this guy drop like 50 kills. Is that possible? Was he cheating? I get these messages from my friends all the time. And it always turns into a real interesting conversation about exploits, cheating, and people that are just really, really good at the game that are able to do this. So let's get started, guys. Um, first off, let's talk about the incentive for cheating if you're not doing it just to troll people. Let's assume that you don't want people to know you're cheating and you just want people to think you're really good. Now, mostly this is going to be so that you can get content. Let's imagine that you are a small uh, YouTuber that's just starting out and you are playing, but you're not doing as good as you want to do. You know, you're not comparing with the greats out there that are dropping these massive amount of kills and getting all these views. So you buy yourself like um, a strike pack or something that you can plug in to your console or your PC that gives you an advantage, whether it's something simple like taking away recoil or something more advanced like assistance on more assistance aiming at targets or just a straight up aimbot, you do that so that you can get better content. Now imagine that you are getting more subscribers because you're doing so good and nobody has really picked up on the fact that you're cheating. In your mind, you're not really cheating. 
you're just giving yourself a boost you know you bought something that you consider legitimate because you bought it online and it's giving you an advantage in the game and your excuse to yourself is well anybody can buy this so it's not really that big of a deal you know anybody can go out and buy this device that takes away recoil or you know helps me aim onto targets better you know <laughs> or there or uh auto fires weapons that are semi-automatic simple stuff like that you know but then you think i need i need more of an advantage so i'm gonna get this radar hack that shows me where players are and eventually you get to the point where you can't justify it anymore but here's the thing now you have tons and tons of followers and subscribers and you have a high demand to keep up with this. Now you're making a lot of money doing this because your your videos are getting so many views, your streams are getting so many views, and somehow nobody's caught on to the fact that you're not a legit player. We've seen this tons of times in the past where people that we thought were good, people that we thought were pros, end up getting caught with an aimbot or end up getting caught with radar. It's happened time and time again. Pro players getting banned at actual esports tournaments for sneaking in USB devices that give them aimbots. Pro players that are so good at hiding, well, pro players with a quotation mark, quotey fingers around it, that are so good at hiding their cheats, you'd never know they were doing it in the first place. So I think that is a huge reason for people to cheat, is to try and get content, you know? And if you started cheating and you started getting a lot of followers and subscribers, what's gonna happen if you stop cheating? You're gonna go back to just being an average player like me and everybody else. Now this is the part where somebody might get salty and say, oh my God, I can't believe you're accusing big streamers and players of cheating. I'm not, I'm just saying it's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. Um, so there's that. It, it, it's basically just simple. You know, you start off cheating, you get a lot of people following you. Now they are following you because they expect your games to be skillful. If you stop cheating, your games are not going to look that skillful anymore. You're going to lose subscribers. You're going to lose followers. It's not going to be a good time. So I wonder how many big streamers and YouTubers out there started off that way and now they have to keep doing it because they're just not as good as some of the other players out there, but they want to compete with them. They want to keep making that money money and they want to keep all their followers and subscribers. Um, and it's not going to be blatant cheats either. It's not going to be like they run around and aim about everybody. It's, it's going to be pretty simple cheats, but just enough to give them that advantage over your average good, over your good player so that they can win more games and get more kills. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I, it's crazy. Um, anyway, uh, we, we hit all the main points there. We talked about cheat methods. We talked about the reason people cheat. We talked about the reason people try to hide their cheats, you know. this is In this day and age, we live... And we live in a day and age where you can make tons of money playing video games. And if you don't think people are going to exploit that, like everything else in the world has been exploited that has to do with making money, you're kind of crazy. Now, I don't want anybody to take offense to that, but just think about it. You know, if there's a market and there's money to be made, people are going to exploit that system. It's just how it works. You're going to have your people that do it legitimately, and then you're going to have your people that exploit the system to try and make as much money as possible um, out of it. They don't care about skill. They don't care about getting satisfaction out of winning. All they care about is the money that they're making. And they will never, ever tell you that they're cheating, you know, unless they get caught red-handed and they have to make up an excuse for it, like so many pro players have done in the past when they get caught cheating oh, I was just doing it so I could avoid enemies and get to the end or some lame excuse like that. But I have a feeling that someday in the future, there's going to be a documentary about the age of video game cheaters that made millions and millions of dollars, you know? This super, I can see it now, this super popular streamer was making so much money and came out of nowhere and made all the other streamers just look bad by how good he was, but... You know, five years, five, six years later, it came out that there was this cheat that nobody even knew about that he was using. Uh, it was it was an insane cheat, <laughs> and, there, and there actually turned out to be a whole bunch of them. Everybody thought they knew all the cheats out there, but they didn't. And oh man, it's gonna be crazy. There's gonna I, I guarantee you guys, there's gonna be a documentary about this. You know, wait about wait about ten years when nobody cares about it anymore, and there's gonna be a documentary about how people were exploiting the gaming system to make hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. It's gonna be insane. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.